Hello, welcome back. This time we're looking at a sensible way of identifying a large layout of components in an inventor drawing. We may know about the auto balloon tool. If I just show you the limitation with that and with this kind of layout, I'll just say select placement. Um, I can place a lot of balloons in one go to identify these parts, but once I generate these balloons, this is not a particularly sensible way of identifying them and it will involve a fair amount of manual cleanup to actually be human readable. So is there a way we can improve this? If I hit undo, as is our custom, we're going to use iLogic to help out with this. And the suggestion was we can use model sketches and make the model sketches visible in the drawing view. So as long as you can predict where you want your identification tag to appear in a drawing, then you can create a 2D sketch to that effect in the model and then include that sketch in the drawing. Let me show you what I mean. So we're not going to walk through step by step here. I've got a partially completed one. So if I open up this part here from the drawing, what we'll see is that we've got a, a sketch in this part called ID sketch which is currently invisible, but if we take a little look at it, if I click on it to highlight it, it's got the Excitec logo and it's also got some intelligent eye property text in there telling me what the size, the height and the width of the panel is. And this is being controlled simply by a parameter in my part called part number and that um, text field there is being controlled by a single line of iLogic code which is concatenating the height and the width. That's a topic for another day, plenty of information on how you can do that. But I've simply got a sketch here that I want to make visible in my drawing view to allow me to tag these components in a, in a quick and easy way. Okay, so manually, what I would need to do is to go to my layout drawing and I would have to find each part in the drawing. So I would have to change my selection to part priority find each part in the drawing. In fact, I may be able to do multiple parts in a drawing. Um, right click, no, okay, so I'd have to do them one at a time. I'd have to click each part, right click, get model sketches. And then if the sketch is not visible in the part, then what I'd have to do as well is to right click on it, um, find in browser, and here we go. I'd have to then expand the part in the browser and find that sketch that I want to be visible, which is under this extru extrusion six, and right click on it and say include. Now we've got the sketch in here and we've got our intelligent call out for the panel designation or the size of it or whatever we want, but that's gonna take me a long time to do for a big layout for every single part in a layout. So this is where we're going to use iLogic to do exactly the same thing as we just did manually, automatically. Okay, so uh, I'm going to hit undo to turn off the display of that particular um, sketch. And we're going to run this iLogic rule. So this is included uh, at the end of the blog. And if I run it, it's going to first ask me to select a view in which I want to toggle the visibilities of some sketches. And now it's going to ask me what the name of the sketch is that I want to make visible or invisible. So it's a toggle. I'll show you this. So if I remember the sketch is called ID sketch and say OK, it's going to run through. So this will work for all sub assemblies as well. So it doesn't matter how deep the sketch is in your assembly structure. It can be five levels deep, for instance. It will still pull it out for you um, and make it visible. So if we take a look at this that panel knows what size it is, for instance. So you can have intelligent tags um, built into your, your parts. And you see we can um, pull those out in a much more sensible way into the drawings. And because it's a toggle rule, if I now run this rule again and make the same drawing view selection, try and remember how I spelled that sketch again and say, okay, it will toggle them off so you've got flexibility to, uh, to have them on or off there. Okay, hope you find this very useful. Thanks a lot.